Airac was once considered as one of the greatest up and coming YouTubers on the platform, but after being exposed for faking his content, his credibility and reputation is now on the line. But how does an over the top challenge series with near impossible conditions? I'm gonna be traveling around the entire globe uploading 30 videos in 30 days to make the most of every second that we have left. Unravel a web of misleading statements, misdirection, and outright lies that could forever alter the reputation of a beloved creator. I just wanted to update you guys. I just finished a 13 hour flight. We almost missed our upload window, and I have a few videos in this series saved for moments like this. Obviously, some of the videos in this series are not filmed completely live. These videos take so much time and effort to pre produce. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be discussing the many ways one of YouTube's fastest growing creators, Airac, has been faking his recent content content, how minor details in his videos revealed a massive disconnect between what Eric was saying and what was actually happening, as well as what those revelations might mean for his career moving forwards. Eric's unique approach to handling extremely difficult video challenges, combined with his skill in presenting them through engaging narratives, and his consistent upload schedule has always given him an edge on YouTube. With several viral videos such as making the world's largest pizza party, buying Logan Paul's couch, and getting stuck on an island, Eric has grown from 50 subscribers to 10 million subscribers in just three years, and he shows no signs of slowing down. In 2023 alone, Eric's channel gained an extra 2 million subscribers, achieving a total of 14 million subs. To keep this momentum going and end the year on a high note, Eric decided it was time to embark on yet another monumental challenge series. On the 1st of December 2023, Eric published a video titled, I Have to Delete My Channel, where he described the rules and conditions for his new 30-day countdown series. Starting December 1st, I'm going to be traveling around the entire globe uploading 30 videos in 30 days to make the most of every second that we have left. Now, I've taken on tons of huge challenges in my time on YouTube, but this is something bigger that I don't even know if the Mafia is ready for. I'm going to be circling the globe over the next 30 days, ending in New York City on New Year's Eve. You guys are invited. But if I miss a day, my channel and all of my videos get deleted forever. You think I'm lying? I gave my personal laptop and my password to Mr. Beast, who is dying to delete my channel. I literally have his YouTube channel, and I promise I will delete it if he skips one day. As you would expect, fans were more than excited to see how Airac was going to pull off traveling around while uploading content every day for 30 days. With comments such as, We just have to not only watch Airac's video, but also motivate him to shoot, edit, and post daily. All the best, Eric. We hope you're going to make it happen until the new year. As well as, good luck to Eric and the crew to this commitment. Excited to see where this goes. Eric was setting extremely high expectations. Traveling around the world while uploading one video every day for a month is a daunting task, especially with the high production value of Eric's normal uploads. Combine this with the fact that Mr. Beast could delete his channel, and you have a recipe for one of the most anticipated challenges of Eric's career. A few hours after the trailer went live, Eric uploaded the first episode of the series, titled I Crossed Ireland in a Perfectly Straight Line, Day 1. This was a first in a six episode arc of Eric and his team moving across Europe in a straight line, starting from Ireland and ending in Italy. Starting off the series like this was a good way to keep fans invested for the first week of the series, and potentially get them to follow the rest of the series closely, but perhaps a bit too closely. While some viewers were enjoying the beautiful sights across Europe, others began noticing subtle issues lurking in the background, issues that would later undermine the entire premise of the series. On the 6th of on December 2023, a user by the name of Vizim uploaded a two minute video dubbed Airac is lying to you, fake 30 day challenge, and as the title suggests, was intended to explore the potentially misleading claims in Airac's 30 day challenge. The first half of the video was spent reminding viewers of the main claims, ideas, and conditions Airac based the challenge series on, while the second half revealed why these claims were deceptive at worst and unclear at best. Say goodbye to your bad habits the delightful way with today's sponsor, The Fume, the award-nominated device that's all natural. At the start, I wasn't sure what to think about it, but after trying the maple peppercorn for the first time, I was completely sold. Instead of using electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead of using vapor, Fume uses flavored air. And instead of using harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural delicious flavors. You get the deal. Experience the ultimate relaxation with Fume's adjustable airflow dial and fidget-friendly design. Perfect for easing stress and anxiety, 
as you reshape your habits. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head over to tryfume.com slash internet anarchist or scan the QR code and use code internet anarchist to get 10% off when you get the journey pack today. You can also upgrade your journey pack to the Solano to enjoy a premium walnut barrel and an onyx black coated mouthpiece that has a smoother finish and you still get 10% off. That's tryfum.com and use code internet anarchist to save an additional 10% off your order today. Now back to the video. According to Vizme, Eric repeatedly played up how difficult the series would be and of course the penalty of his channel being deleted if he failed. In the trailer, Eric quoted, Starting December 1st, I'm going to be traveling around the entire globe uploading 30 videos in 30 days. If I miss a day, my channel and all my videos get deleted forever. While the part about uploading 30 videos in 30 days was true, the aspect of it starting on the 1st of December was a lie. Uploads started on that date, but that didn't mean they were produced around December. Vizme pointed out that a clip on the third day of the challenge showed the date on Eric's smartwatch reading the 12th of September, when in reality, it was supposed to be the 3rd of December, almost three months later. Switzerland and Italy, and we've all been spamming Duolingo trying. In the fourth episode of the series, Vizme took note of the expiration label on a pack of meat that read 18th of September 2023. If these dates are accurate, then that would mean Eric started the 30 day challenge around two months ahead of schedule, which invalidates the timeline the series is based on. A few days after Vizmi's video went live, Eric left a comment that he hoped would clarify the situation, reading, Great detective work, honestly. Like I mentioned, some of the videos, especially in the beginning, are pre-recorded so that I could give myself a head start. I'm currently on the road filming the series. Main goal of the series is to upload a new vid every day. There were two main issues with Eric's reply. Firstly, up until now, Eric never mentioned that any of these videos were pre-recorded. And secondly, he was trying to shift attention away from the obvious deception by claiming the main goal was daily uploads. Below Eric's comment, Vizmi stated, My main criticism was that you claimed to be circling the globe starting on December 1st, and nothing about the videos being pre-recorded two months ago was mentioned. While some viewers were able to look past Eric allegedly buffering a few videos before the challenge, others decided to take a look a bit deeper into what Eric was doing, with a commenter stating, Where did you mention that some of the videos are pre-recorded? I've watched the entire series because I love you guys, but you made no mention of the pre-recording. Your fans would still love you if you threw the phony hype away and kept your timeline real. There's nothing entertaining about dishonesty and you're no exception. You'd think with the head start on uploads that Eric wouldn't be falling behind by the seventh episode of the series. What's up guys? I I cannot tell you where I am right now. I just wanted to update you guys. I just finished a 13 hour flight. We almost missed our upload window and I have a few videos in this series saved for moments like this. Obviously some of the videos in this series are not filmed completely live. These videos take so much time and effort to pre-produce. So luckily I shot this video right before we shot the series in case of a moment like this. We are shooting this series live right now. Uploads on the channel have been light in 2023. So my only goal with this series is to give you guys an entertaining video every single day and I'm not gonna stop until it's done or my channel gets deleted. In Vizme's comment section, Eric was justifying the pre-recorded videos by saying they were to give him a head start, which is somewhat reasonable. But now, he's saying they were meant to save his streak in an emergency scenario. If he already had a six-day head start and was filming some of his videos after the 1st of December, then why was it close to missing an upload? He even said it was filmed just before the start of the challenge, but that isn't true, since Ryan Trahan uploaded his side of the collaboration on the 29th of October 2023. I finally made it to Scotland. My good friend Eric partnered up with Airbnb to go to Shrek Swamp, and he invited me. 
Yay! Did this mean that from episode 8 onwards, Eric would go back to the original plan of uploads about his travels during December? Well, the answer is no. As the number of episodes increased, so did the number of clues that pointed to a majority of the series being made entirely before December. On the 17th of December 2023, a YouTuber named Soggy Serial posted a video titled Eric, King of Faking Content, in which he brought forward even more evidence of the 30 day challenge being mostly pre recorded and argued that Eric was exploiting his viewers by doing so. I presume he started filming this challenge at the start of September, giving Eric an entire three months head start before even starting his 30 day series challenge on YouTube. Starting December 1st, I'm gonna be traveling around the entire globe. See, that's what I thought at first. Uh, but now that we're at episode 14, I realize that this isn't even a challenge he's actually doing. Instead, it's one big lie to what I think boost his views and manipulate his audience to increase limited merch sales. Soggy Serial then went on to cover the aspects of the first seven episodes that proved they were filmed in or around September, as well as examining the discrepancies from the eighth episode to the 16th episode. At the start of episode eight, Eric strongly implies that they had traveled from Italy to Dubai, but during Soggy's video, he points out that that isn't possible, since a flight plan reads from Houston to Dubai. In addition, Soggy shows a November news report spotted in episode 10, which further reinforces that Eric didn't film his stay in Dubai during the challenge's timeline. Well, in episode 10, where he spends a night at a very expensive hotel, uh, you can see a news report from CNN on the TV about an event that happened on November 21st. A third of the challenge series appeared to be pre-recorded, and unfortunately, that trend was only going to continue. For episodes 11, 12, and 14, Soggy brought up a collection of Instagram posts made in November that feature Eric in identical clothes, locations, and props. Found some Instagram posts featuring Eric in Cooper PD, the Underground Inn featured in episode 11, um, and this was posted on November 27, more than 15 days ago. While someone posted a picture about episode episode 12 on November 26th. Let's jump into episode 14, where he flew in 50 competitive eaters into LA Angeles this morning. to see if they can eat up an entire buffet. Um, and I knew that at least one of these 50 competitive eaters would slip up and post at least something about the Eric video on the day of filming. I see one of them posted an Instagram reel and a YouTube video about it on November 18. From the very first episode all the way to the 14th episode, Eric was effectively lying to his audience about the true nature of the challenge, and only barely addressed it when he was called out for it. Speaking of which, he left this response in the comment section of Soggy's video. Yo, appreciate the feedback, we are shooting the series as we speak, but as I mentioned in the videos, some of them were shot before the series so we could give ourselves a head start to edit and make the vids as good as possible. Biggest lesson is to more clearly communicate, quote, uploading every day while while I travel around the world, unquote, I think could have been more clear in the exact constraints for sure. When it comes to communicating things clearly, Eric had 16 episodes to do so. At the start of every episode, he reminded the audience about the high stakes of the challenge, and phrased things in such a way that it seemed he was doing everything in chronological order. Considering how many episodes were known to be pre-recorded, it's not even possible for him to have been close to failing the challenge at episode 7 as he claimed. The travelling around the world aspect of the challenge wasn't even followed since episodes 13, 15, and 16 were filmed in Los Angeles, Eric's state of residence. By the 18th of December 2023, Eric posted episode 17 of the 30 day challenge and was once again claiming he needed to make an emergency upload. If you are seeing this video, something bad happened. Let me clarify, I'm doing a series where I'm going around the world in 30 days, making a brand new video on this channel every single day, and if I don't, my channel gets deleted permanently. I even gave the password to my friend Mr beast to hold me accountable. Now to stack the odds in my favor, before we started the series, I pre-recorded some videos. Like last week, I uh, uploaded this video that was never going to be seen by the world of me going to Shrek Swamp. And today I'm going to show you one of my favorite videos that I did not post, which is the fake Uber prank on my fellow YouTubers. Now, take note that this was uploaded a day after Soggy Serial released his video on the challenge being fake, and there was another openly pre-recorded video added to the series. This bears a striking resemblance to how Eric stated the Shrek video was pre-recorded immediately after Vizmi called out the challenge. In both cases, Eric refused to acknowledge the obvious lies he fed his audience and uploaded a quote, emergency video right after the videos in the series were published. 
Was it a coincidence or was Eric trying to cover his tracks? Either way, the later portions of the series seem to have been filmed in the US during December. Judging by the promotional material and Christmas decorations in the background, earlier in his career, Eric relied on consistency, authenticity, and high quality productions to fuel his growth on YouTube. Does Eric fake videos? This question triggers me because of the lengths that we go to to make sure that videos are not faked, unscripted, completely real. We'll like reshoot entire videos. We have people living in separate houses so that information isn't shared between myself and my friends. Like we go so far to make sure that videos are not faked, so no. You can count on me to not fake videos, unlike almost every other creator on the platform. However, it seems Eric has leaned more towards consistent high production uploads and away from the authentic part of the equation, a tactic that ended up being extremely rewarding. However, the change will always leave an atmosphere of doubt around the creator's brand, as now we can see is clearly willing to lie to his audience in order to boost his numbers. 